We believe in biblical authority. 1 Timothy 2.13 says this, For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. See, because we believe in the inspiration and preservation of Scripture, because of that, we also believe in biblical authority. The Bible is the final authority in all matters of faith and practice. We take the Bible, the Bible is our authority. It's not the pastor, it's not the people in the church. The, the authority comes from God's word, and, and which is inspired, which is preserved, and also is the authority over what's done in the church and what's done in our lives. You say, well, doesn't everybody believe that? Well, no, look, when we believe in biblical authority, we just lost the Catholics again. Because they, because they believe in the Bible, but you know what? They hold their church traditions on par with the Bible. Don't believe me? Look it up. They, 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 they put the words of the Pope on par with the Bible. They call him the vicar of Christ. He speaks for Christ on this earth. Whatever the Pope says trumps what the Bible says. You know, they call him the vicar of Christ. He's the vicar of hell. But they, they put their traditions on par with the Bible. They don't believe in biblical authority. We just lost the Pentecostals with their word of faith. I got a word of faith. I got a word from God. Well, look, I got a word from God, too. It's called the King James Bible. And I, I don't get to change it every time I want to by telling you, well, I had a vision that told me. Look, here's what I'm saying. We're never going to change what we believe. Why? Because as Baptists, we believe in biblical authority. I used to have a pastor tell us this. When the Bible is your boss, you're a Baptist. <laughs>